happened? She said, oh, we gotta get in here. Grabbing him by his belt, pulling him backwards. We can be fair about all the assessments that we make. You can't just be like, oh, I believe it's harassment or, oh, I believe he's being too aggressive. Or you can't just be like, oh, he's innocent. He's a police officer. The bad guy's a criminal. No, that's not fair. We assess situations individually. Hey, what's up team? All right, so we haven't been doing a whole lot of military shit lately. We're gonna do something a little bit different. So there was an incident where a sergeant put hands on another officer. This is something that's been very controversial between, you know, all first responders, civilians, veterans, all this stuff. So we're gonna take a look at the video. I am going in now not fully knowing what is happening and only going to talk about what we actually see, but nothing I talk about is factual. Uh, you guys are entitled to have whatever opinion you want. That's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, in no way, shape or form is what I'm saying, you know, truth as to what happened or what's going on with the officers behind. I do not know that. All I know is this is something I was recommended and I think it'll be great for us to actually talk about. Um, if you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video. But let me know down below in the comments how I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. And if you guys want to stick around and see us live, we do these reactions here live on Twitch a majority of the time. So feel free to come on by and go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell if you want to see more content like this and not miss anything because we post two or three times a week. But let's go ahead and send it. A Sunrise Sergeant has been relieved of supervisory duties. Okay, so this is the, if I say NCO throughout this and don't correct myself, I apologize. NCO is a non-commissioned officer, so he's a sergeant. Enlisted or sergeants, non-commissioned officers in the military. And is under investigation following. First of all, it does not matter that she is a female officer. It would not matter if she's a male officer. How you treat your subordinates, those below you as a leader should be a full spectrum thing. Yeah, there's gonna be small instances where like you have to take into account someone be a, a female for certain things. So certain situations could be uncomfortable. Other than that, does not matter. What I'm saying is it does not make the situation worse that she was a female officer for whoever's right or in the wrong, okay? Provisory They're gonna play the rest of it, but he's walking up to the car. He was facing another direction. She's behind him, he whips around. He's put his hands on another officer's throat. He's putting his hand like on her throat and then on her shoulder, pressing her up against the car. She's confronting him at something, so maybe the NCO is at fault. They say Jean Bernard Similian battered several people and were trying to place him in a patrol car. So this dude battered a bunch of people, which means he did not assault them. Like he was physically hurting them, okay? We already know the dude's a threat. Another quick pause. The reason your guys' like standpoints and my standpoints may be different is because we know we all have different experiences and stuff like that. That's okay. Like I said, whatever you guys want to think is fine. Whatever I want to think is totally fine. We're all entitled to our own opinions. All we're trying to do is break this down and have a good conversation about it at the end of the day. That's it. I'm not LEO, okay? I'm not a police officer where like, you know, you you do have to like, you know, provide to the community much more. God, it is so difficult to be a police officer nowadays. The reason why I take more aggressive standpoints is because my experience is being, uh, you know, in combat environments where typically it's like quick decision making is vital. And it's not like, a, oh, do we want to like put hands on it? It's like, do we shoot them or do we not shoot them? And Elio, it's a little bit different. You don't, you don't get the option to just shoot, not shoot. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, that is a decision. It's like, yeah, okay, you don't shoot, you die just like the same thing in the civilian world. But then if you not shoot, it's like, okay, are you gonna go to your secondary? Or are you gonna go to your third? So basically we're talking about, you know, your guys' escalation of force from like pistol, taser, baton. That's not an order. Uh, once again, correct me if you if, if I'm wrong. Uh, we just paused at the part where he has battered a handful of people. He is the aggressor, he is violent. So already in my mindset, I'm like, this dude's getting no chances. Even if he's in handcuffs, because guess what? If you give me the opportunity and I'm dangerous, I can, I can do, enough damage in handcuffs. You can just take a chunk out of your skin. I could bite your fucking throat, dude. You die. Once the suspect was inside the patrol vehicle, the sergeant approached and engaged in a verbal altercation with the suspect in a manner that I feel was inappropriate and unper- From what it looked like, it looked like they were almost still putting him in the patrol car. So actually, let's back that up really quick. Let's break some of this shit down. Bernard Similian battered several Okay, this doesn't look like it's the sergeant. This looks like it's the sergeant. So he's talking to him now. Okay, so due to the time in the break, I'm assuming the dude was already in the car. He's already sitting, established in the car. Once again, I don't know. We're just going by what's on video. And the main thing is, guys, we can be fair about all the assessments that we make. You can't just be like, oh, I believe it's harassment or, oh, I believe he's being too aggressive. Or you can't just be like, oh, he's innocent. He's a police officer. The bad guy's a criminal. No, that's not fair. We assess situations individually. Not everything is the same. All right. And with the people incorporated, things change all the time. And that includes the rank structure as well. He goes on to say in a written so he's outside the vehicle. It looks like that's when he's being turned around. Guys, if you really like this type of content, please let me know because I love doing stuff like this. I love doing breakdowns. I would love to start getting this channel in that direction. And I'll bring you guys on with actual experience, people that I've vetted and I personally know. And, and let's talk about him. It sounds like it was something almost emotional or he could have just, the, that sergeant could have been having a bad day, but guess what? You cannot do that. You got to put your 
and emotions to the side. So if he's already in the car, why would you come up and start a altercation? However, this is how the other officer interpreted that. This is huge. So if the sergeant was being emotional, so could the other per the other officer. They said manner that I felt. I felt. This depends on the individual, but doesn't mean they're wrong. Also does not mean they're right. The supervisor escalated the encounter instead of de-escalating an emotionally charged situation. Great verbiage. I love it. So the supervisor, the sergeant, came in. We saw he was up on the vehicle. Apparently the guy was already in there. It was an already emotionally charged situation, and he escalated instead of de-escalated. So he might have come in there and just yelled at the dude. Rosa also says while speaking to the suspect, the sergeant is seen holding his can of pepper spray, but doesn't use it. Okay, so he is holding the pepper spray. We have one officer right here. The guy is sitting on the edge of the vehicle. What could have been happening is maybe the guy's not going in because this officer right here on the left is not going to slam this door on the guy's legs if he's not in the vehicle. So maybe that the supervisor was coming with pepper spray to be like, if you don't get back, I'm going to fucking pepper spray you. Yeah. And it looks like that because it looks like this officer right here had his hands on the guy uh, trying to push him into the vehicle. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's like, get in there. You can see her running to police. <sighs> This is very important. Please pay attention. He is in the vehicle, right? What he might be doing is getting the guy in the car, or it could be him just having a bad day, uh, making an improper decision and yelling at the guy for no reason. But he did have the pepper spray in his hand. Looks like he's trying to get him in the car. Look at where she's at. Look at how far away she is. All she could possibly hear is yelling from the suspect and the supervisor. Her vantage point cannot be that great. Maybe she doesn't know what's going on, is assuming what is going on. Or she can see that the sergeant already came in, emotionally charged, like she had stated. She possibly is trying to save his ass. Once again, that's another thing with law enforcement. You guys have it so difficult. Everything's on camera. Everything can be interpreted however you want, like how we're doing right now. However, like I said, we are always going to come into it with an open mind and really try and break it down. So she could be like, hey, dude, you're fucking up. You're, you're way too emotional. You got to tone this down. She rushes in. Something happened. She said, oh, we got to get in here. Grabbing him by his belt, pulling him backwards. It didn't look like she was hitting him at all. Looked like she grabbed her supervisor. She pulled him back. She's not hitting him. I don't think she's doing anything outside of the norm. And if she is trying to back him up, that's great. She did not get between her supervisor and the suspect, which is huge. Because if she does do that, it automatically shows that the NCO is doing something wrong and she is going against his orders. All she did here was say, hey, supervisor, go ahead, back up, back up, back up. It looks a lot better on camera as well. And if you are subordinate, the female, the subordinate, he is the uh, supervisor. If you're subordinate and you do see your leadership doing something wrong, speak the fuck up, say something, have their back. The majority of the time, there's a lot of good leadership out there and they'll always have your back. Just because you're the lower level, even if you've been on the department for like two days and then your, your supervisor has been on for 30 years, whatever the case may be, they're doing something wrong. Assess how you want to handle this because it could bite you if you're wrong like i said you know if you're new you're new you may not know the system be tactical with what you do he then turns and aggressively <sighs> he is wrong right here he is very wrong if it was like one squad car and he's being yanked out of the squad car by his belt and this dude's battering somebody he could have a, a, a someone with him a partner an associate that could be civilians people on the sidewalk a lot of things go through your mind as a police officer you have to assess everything that is happening and what could happen and basically plan that next step. However, you have five squad cars. The other officers are not going to allow no one to run up on you like that. And if they are, there's going to be some verbal like warning from the officers like, hey, get away or something like that. And he'll be able to prone you. She didn't do anything excessive. She didn't yank on him where he's going to fall over. He's a big dude. I'm sure she had to use some leverage. So it could have been violent for him. But the fact for him to turn around, see who it is and put his hand on his throat. Can see her running she moves in. Good on you. His belt Very backwards. calm, cool, collected. She's not continuously like yanking him like mother or anything like that. She's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe trying to talk to him. He could be embarrassed. This is another thing too. If you are a leader and you do something wrong in front of your subordinates and you get emotional and you fire on them, even though they're right and you're wrong, you, you shouldn't be in the position that you're in. Okay. You should be so thankful to have lower enlisted or subordinates who give a f about you and will let you know when you're wrong. Those are valuable people. And you should know that those are future leaders who you should train and develop because they have the potential to be so great. Just pull them back. Turns around, he could see who it is. He is clearly identifying who is in front of him. Right here, if you guys can see his face. He's upset. Her hand placement is not in the aggressive manner. He turned around her, so she's just like letting off. He's turning around. He went for the throat. It's not a point. Like I said, we're just taking it all in consideration. To me, it looks like he's putting hands on her throat because he's pissed. He is significantly taller than the female. By nature, him going out to push could be on the throat. It could have been on her face. Doesn't mean that's what he's intentionally trying to do. Like I said, we're being fair here. Now let's see how quickly it comes off. 
because he's driving. Look at his feet placement. He is going in for a push or a shove, okay? She is doing great at de-escalating and not being an aggressor. I think she was trying to assist her uh, NCO. And she's not pointing fingers at him, giving him a lecture. Aggressive. All right, not a shove. This is officially not a fucking shove. I wouldn't say it's a choke either. You can have a shoulder placement and you can push, right? But I do feel he's trying to play a more dominant role in this. It is very aggressive. And I think the other hand is what comes around is pointing the finger, right? So this hand's not pointing, this hand is pushing and driving. This is, this is a big breakdown team because I, I, these things are very important to understand. She feels she's getting driven really hard. He's a big guy, even though he is, you know, Friendly, um, she's already starting to place those hands, so she is getting defensive at this point. He he may be choking the f out of her, and we just can't see it due to the, the angle of the video. Sergeant, police is then seen on video going... <sighs> Look at his face. It's not fair for me to say this is emotionally driven, but that is what it looks like. He looks pissed off, and he's going right back to the suspect that he was already getting pushed on. In my world, if I have a serious topic going on, as an if I'm engaging someone, like let's say we capture somebody, we're talking to the guy, we got a lot of shit going on, a game plan, stressful situation, middle of a firefight, right? I'm talking to somebody, my soldiers come and pull me off to whatever, be like, oh, don't talk to them like that, da 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 we have a serious thing going on, I would do the exact same thing. I'd be like, you can understand your place. You go pull sectors of fire over there. You go handle your fucking team. Or I go and be like, hey, go handle your fucking soldier right here, right? I'm going directly back to that situation I was just engaging. However, this is a very controlled environment. A lot of police are already here. The dude's in handcuffs. He's in the squad car. So I don't know what's going on. Slams the door before pointing, yelling back at the officer who's- So then he goes back, closes that door. I think another officer should have closed the door because this is obviously escalating like crazy. And then he turns back around and is pointing at the female to officer. escalate the situation. Chief Rosa says he's proud of the officer. Pepper spray in his hand. He's pushing. He's trying to enter I'll get on subordinate soldier's ass, whatever. If I'm in a stressful situation like this, there's a lot going on. It's controlled. You have police officers right here watching the situation. There's by in, in no way, shape, or form unless she's attacking you, which she was definitely not. Nothing she did was aggressive. Even her defense was not aggressive in nature. You should not be pinning an officer against a car in an environment where there's already a lot of high tension. You're wasting your time. You're wasting their time. Bad example to the public. All these other situations. Female officer, from what I'm seeing right now, great on you. I think you did outstanding. However, the only thing I think this female officer has against them, because we don't know what's going on in the car. There's no audio. Uh, I haven't looked into a backstory. She chose a picky poison because, like I said, she was very far back. Can't exactly see, can only hear. Maybe she did have a good angle. We don't know. Wondering why Sergeant Police is on desk duty and was not arrested for his actions. So he is on desk duty right now. Okay, so obviously he's not out in the field. I don't know how you guys want to call it. Uh, patrolling or anything like that. Doing supervisor stuff. He's stuck behind a desk. The sergeants already do paperwork stuff. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Claiming officers engaged in wrongdoing should not receive different treatment. Yeah, that favorite officer stuff, the favorite officer bullshit, all that blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're the top guy or the bottom guy. If you're right, you're right. You're wrong, you're wrong. And if you are wrong, suck it up, acknowledge that you're wrong, take responsibility, learn from that experience, and move forward. Something like this, it's a little bit beyond that. If he has proven to be wrong whatever he's doing, he should lose rank, and he probably should not be a police officer uh, if he's going to get emotionally charged in situations like that. Huge round of applause from my end, I think, for the female officer. Um, I think she did outstanding. He should be thanking her at the end of the day. From what already looked very charged, it looked like these officers already like, yo, dude, what the f*** are you doing? Basically could have saved his ass if he would have just turned around and been like, <sighs> he could have turned around, not put hands on her, be like, back the f*** off, turned around and got on. But the fact that he had to take it to the next step, pin the officer on the car, here you're in the wrong, boss. Light me up. Chad, if you think I'm wrong, light me up. Like I said, this is just an opinion, Um, and it's only what I'm assessing. If you guys have read into these articles, that's great. Good on you. And the reason I'm not looking into these is because I'm not looking to be right and wrong. I'm looking spread knowledge on how people should really break down situations. She did a good job. I agree. Film officer did great. They should have released the audio with body cam. I don't know why they redacted it. I get it. And sorry if it's too in detail, team. When it comes to a situation like this and people's jobs, we're going to talk about that shit. We're going to break it down. If you're able to take anything from this on how to break things down and look at it from both angles, because you're watching this, right? Every single eye in the fucking room is how you need to view the situation, right? And when they're on the scene like this, you got to do it like that. It's got to be quick. Very stressful, because this also at the end of the day, shit like this happens in public. And when something like this even happens to you, you need to be able to assess it and really break it down and be fair. And it, it really helps get rid of any ego that you may have. You'd be like, that was wrong. While we start to do this, uh, I'm not really going to pick any sides as to who's right, who's wrong. We don't know all the details. However, it does look a certain type of way. I think you guys know what I'm saying. That's it.
uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on who you think was right, who you think was wrong. This is just my opinion. Um, and you're more than welcome to share your opinion in the comments as well. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video, but let me know down below in the comments. I can fix or improve for you guys' entertainment. If you guys wanna be involved on something like this and really get in the comments, stay engaged and debate with me at the very end and during the video, jump on over to Twitch. Right now we've been streaming for basically three hours today and we're gonna stream another three hours tonight. But I love all you guys, stay safe and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.